welcome to ARCC Reset TV Talk. Um, we are excited today because today is the uh, last episode of our season one. So um, can you believe uh, we have done 11 episodes yeah. of this Reset TV Talk show. Now I would like to take an opportunity to welcome ARCC staff, Asif. Hi. Faisal, Hi. Lavi, <laughs> and Aban. Kiora. <laughs> Kiora. And also um, those who are behind the scene, uh, the technical team who's making uh, life a lot easier and supporting from the back, uh, Isan, uh, Jim, yeah. uh, Fanta, and Sandy. So welcome, everyone. Yeah. Are you all excited? <laughs> yeah. 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 So today... Um, um, talk show. Firstly, we would like to uh, summarize our um, 11 episodes that uh, we have been aired uh, previously and um, later on uh, we'll, as staff of ARCC uh, we we'll would like to share our experience um, working with ARCC and also the contribution that we made to ARCC and also to our community and, um, and the hope that we have for the future of ARCC. And um, lastly, Aban uh, will share our new strategy uh, structure of uh, ARCC. Yeah, I think we um, also uh, very excited to um, to acknowledge our audience who are following us in our social media. Um, I think without you, um, this um, uh, talk will not be meaningful, as we always trying to. Uh, to aware our community and also New Zealand public. So this is one of the important element of our work to ensure that you are well informed with the information that uh, many of our New Zealanders, they don't understand how the resettlement yeah. work, and especially in the resettlement space. So uh, today we're having a very different environment and everyone look <laughs> awesome. Uh, <laughs> 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 Yeah. So yeah, everyone, everyone look excited. Yes, yeah. yes. Um, so I would like to start with the uh, summary of our um, eleven episodes, so that everyone can get a glimpse of you know what we have discussed uh, about um, during those um, previous episodes. So the first uh, in the first episode, uh, we discuss about the resettlement journey to Aotearoa. So we invited our community members to, um, uh, you know, uh, share their experience and their life uh, and their home country and their country of asylum and also their uh, resettlement, you know, um, experience in this new country of New Zealand. And for the uh, episode two, uh, it uh, was on um, during the month of World Refugees Day. So um, we talk about why we commemorate uh, World Refugees Day, yeah, yeah. right? Like we don't want to use the word celebrate, you know, because we are commemorating yeah. the strength and the courage of those people who are forced to flee yeah. their home country uh, to escape conflict or persecution and also um, we also would like to recognize um, their resilience in mm -hmm. rebuilding their life in new countries and uh, for the episode three uh, we highlighted uh, one of ERCC collaborative um, projects called Eteria Collective, yeah. uh, NES and SAW programs. We invited our uh, collective partners um, to, you know, share um, how the program works and who can join the program. So the program uh, aim um, to aspirin uh, migrant entrepreneurs um, to achieve financial independence and social inclusion by creating successful businesses. And, um, you know, those who would like to start their own business or who are running the business and, and are needing assistance and um, um, financial or uh, capacity building uh, can join this, this uh, program. program. Yeah. 
And for the episode four, uh, we came back to the new residents and then resettled communities from the first uh, migrant background and the resettlement uh, journey to Aotearoa again. <clears throat> And uh, as for the uh, episode five, um, we introduced uh, ARCC's new resident magazine, uh, which was created to share the um, success resettlement yes. stories uh, with different uh, communities and then also service providers and then um, general public. Yeah. Uh, from episode six to nine, uh, we highlighted particularly on community issues that you know uh, came through our community support services. Um, so we discussed about uh, work and income issues, uh, housing issues, um, immigration and employment um, issues, and. Um, what are the possible uh, solutions that we would be able to uh, provide and then uh, support the community members with? Because when we uh, um, discuss about the issues, we came to f um, understand that, you know, the impacts that, uh, you know, um, those yeah. challenges have on the community members. So, yeah. And... Um, for the episode 10, it's uh, about the voice of our new resident uh, magazine. Yeah. Uh, we invited uh, two guests um, uh, whose stories were featured in our new resident magazine, uh, Volume 2. So they came and shared about their experience and their stories, um, you know, um, the resettlement stories and how they uh, find the job, uh, how they look for the jobs, and also, like, you know, how they are studying, you know, m making the uh, most out of it while they are living in this um, new country. And uh, the last episode... Um, um, before this one, the episode 11, um, uh, it was the reflection of our ARCC work. So uh, how uh, we shared about our uh, three work streams yeah. of, uh, from our strategic plan and how we are working um, according to that. And we also reintroducing our uh, programs and then projects and then community support services. So... Um, we are now at the last uh, episode of uh, season one. Yeah. Excited to share yeah. more um, about our ESCC uh, work and then um, what might bring for our new season, uh, season two. Um, we'll be back after a short break. <laughs> Welcome back. Um, thank you for listening again. Um, now we are going to have um, a Wananga uh, conversation with our ARCC staff. So we will be able to give everyone the opportunity to just to add value what they are uh, doing at ARCC and what they love about the work of ARCC. And uh, I think it's your time to shine. Um, <laughs> <why so? laughs> yeah. Um, I um, start working with the RCC 2015 when I see a band. Which a band? A band <laughs> as a friend, as a friend before he be uh, as our, he is our director and showing it. The shift, I'm going to speak about my shift from business to community worker. And I built my network through ARCC and helping people from there and um, you don't know how the feeling of me when someone get we put his uh, we put some smile in his face uh, it's a big big victory for us in the rcc uh, i love to work with the rcc and i think so i'm going to retire here in the RCC. <laughs> I'm not going to... You're going to, to retire. Uh, yeah, retire. How many, how many years to retire, Faisal? <laughs> mm, maybe 10 years. <laughs> 10 years. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, yeah. As many of you know, as an audience, um, previously we've been talking about uh, the work of ARCC. We reflect on the episode 11, 
about ARCC Week. And uh, part of it today, just we are, yeah. are trying to get a glimmer of each and every one contribution as well. Now, um, I'm going to Asif. Oh, so Asif, um, can you tell us a bit about what you, you know, do for the community? Uh, thank you again, Quint and Aban, for having me uh, as a community engagement uh, officer from ARCC. I've been working on different roles uh, uh, with ARCC for um, five years now. And uh, at the moment uh, that uh, I'm working as a community engagement officer, mm -hmm. and uh, my job is to work with the uh, uh, different um, uh, organization and different uh, leaders from different ethnic backgrounds. So our goal is mostly is to uh, uh, work with them and help them integrate with the broader community, and uh, just to help them, you know, connect them with the resources or the training that they need. Mm -hmm. Can, can you give some example mm -hmm. about that? Sure. Uh, so one of the important aspects, and um, first of all, I'd like to talk about the, the important aspect of my work, why we need to work with them. So first of all is that uh, uh, we need to create an environment and foster a more inclusive society that they feel where they belong. It's not just a home they feel like uh, that, that's just a home. We need to make a home where they f feel sense of belonging. They have a sense of belonging. And also we want to make a diverse society. You know, we want to help them and create them uh, to achieve their own goals. We need to empower them how they can, you know, thrive in this uh, New Zealand society. And um, if they thrive, who's going to benefit? rest of the rest of the New Zealanders mm -hmm. so uh, we always believe that uh, uh, even if we are coming from Pakistan we're coming from uh, South Sudan the day that we enter to New Zealand who we are we are I'm Pakistani New Zealander you are Sudanese New Zealander you're Malaysian New Zealander is South Sudanese New Zealander. We all f need to feel belonging in, in, in New Zealand. And uh, how we can feel belong? The only thing that we can do is that uh, uh, we need to be here as New Zealanders. We don't need to, we, I know there's so many uh, uh, organizations that uh, are lab labeling us. They're labeling us with former refugees. They're labeling us with refugees. But if we are keep sticking with our past, how are we going to move forward? The only way we can move forward is to be a New Zealander and uh, move forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's good for you to feel belong because you don't need anyone to tell you you belong or not. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. belonging comes from yeah. self. So yes. yes. It's good you reach to the self-realization. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you are in the right direction. <laughs> now um, we are going to Lavi. Uh, just um, share what you can share, and um, yeah, floor is yours. Thank you, Aban, for that. So I am um, the administrative coordinator at ARCC, and I've been working with ARCC from beginning of this year, and I can confidently say it's been really exciting and really engaging working within the team. Like when I first came onto this team, I've already felt a huge sense of belonging within this team because each of us, we all come from different backgrounds and we know the whole struggle of coming from another country to a new country and resettling here. And I never had that before in the past. And it's really amazing to meet other people who went through that uh, of, on the most similar experience to me. So, and I'm really, happy to be part of this team and to bring my contributions to the ARCC group. Yeah. And as an administration coordinator, I'm also part of the new structure for ARCC. So I am hoping to bring my skills and as well as my creativity, because I do have a bit of a graphic design background. Mm -hmm. So I'm also hoping to contribute my creativity to the marketing team ARCC has to promote, to promote ARCC's mission and our goal to actually help resettle communities and families to like thrive and to be happy in this beautiful country that, that we live in. So that's my take on it and I feel really blessed 
to yeah. be here in this family. Uh, can, I, can I say something about the first day you were coming to RCC and I ask you a question, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And she's shocked. She's shocked. Yeah, she's shocked. But lovely to see you. Why are you here? Yeah. Yeah. And you are face. lovely lady. Face. <laughs> because, uh, yes. She's working closely to how, me how now. How do you ask the question? Yeah. How do you ask it? Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> like this. And she's shocked. I, I'm not living with I say, okay, okay, you are welcome to RCC. Don't try. Uh, welcome. Thank welcome. you, Faisal. Thank you very much. Yeah, I think for me as well to share one of the important elements of working with ARCC is to ensure that someone who who looking for direction that they don't know about it and being able to to support them in that particular element is, is is give you a sense of you support someone yeah. and the way how you make them to be themselves and and, and that is what drives the work we do yeah. and it's very important that um, taking ownership of our own issues yes. rather than pointing fingers on other people mm -hmm. and that is where we will be able to see ourselves as a, a positive citizen of this country yes. by contributing on what the citizen of this country can contribute. So um, from our point of view, what's in ARCC is that to ensure we have adding value to New Zealand society. And, and that um, one of the value we brought from where we come from, yeah. and we have a rich culture, language, yeah. you name mm -hmm. it, and many of New Zealanders, they don't understand it. And we are here to make sure that we share it with them. And this is one of the ARCC value to ensure that we share what we have with those who don't know us. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. Yes. Um, I always remember what Aban said. You know, like uh, uh, w w from which pathway you know you come from. You know, um, we are not a liability to this country. We are an asset. Asset. Yes. Yes. Asset. Yes. 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 Asset. Absolutely. Yeah. And especially the residual community and the migrant community, uh, if, you, if you go to them and if you ask them that, okay, government is deciding to make the work days to three days or four days, you know what they're going to do? They're going to just go ahead and laugh. Because they're going to say, why we come to this country? We come to this country to make our future, overcoming generations is great. How are we going to do that sitting at home, watching TV, doing nothing? nothing. So we're going to work hard 12, day, 12 hours a week, three, uh, 7 days a week, 365 days and a year. We're going to make our family, our culture, our society great and great. I think it's one nice. of... Um, the thing each one of you should you should appreciate yourself because when we start reset TV, I think um, Jim himself, I see Faisal, and Ponge, um, we were in a, a different dilemma, but there was a direction always is there. We we need to start something because if we don't start, someone will start it because we are limited to access um, mainstream media where we can voice ourselves out. So one of the solution is that to create our own. So this is one of the beauty of having Reset TV. So yeah. we need to voice our voice out. It's not just a concern, but we are providing solution as well. Yeah. Yeah. Because this is really is very important. So um, thank you for being part of the journey of the season one, which is today is going to be the 12th episode of the season one, and, and, and uh, that itself is a celebration. Yes. Oh. Yeah. So yeah, you, sh yeah. you should be proud of yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is a, yeah? It's a beautiful, nice journey. <laughs> when we sit in the table and preparing for the episode, yeah. and uh, a band with his nice laughter and point with her things, and we started the idea, it's like a small thing, and now getting big. And we have a lot of audience coming to us and asking me, because I'm working in the field, I'm not working in the office, and asking about what this Reset TV. And I have explained to them, and I hope in the future, ARCC will have our own studio, and we're doing our episodes from there, and we do short movies, 
about the things. I think the actors will be <laughs> all of us. <laughs> and but uh, you, you bring you actors from You've outside. forgotten something as well, which is yeah. our audience, they should understand this. Yeah. The cameraman is someone who's been disadvantaged in the system that because yes. he don't know English. Okay? So from AIC's point of view, language should not be Body. something for the progress of individual because we have yes. multi yeah. different languages. Yeah. 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 So having game to take um, ARCC video is 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 is, is a success because it's the biggest success. people don't know him is speak English or don't speak English, but when he produced those episodes, who knows? He's speaking English or don't speak English? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, already, it's a technical skill. Yeah, so yeah, that's yeah. yeah. so it's that's about one, technical. Yeah, one of the, 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 the showcase that uh, all the employers outside there yes. don't really, really disadvantage in one of our community because he don't have language. Yeah. But he know how to do the job. Yeah. Just give them opportunity. Yeah. So having a reset TV is one of the showcasing as well. Someone who did not have language uh, English language uh, opportunity was in New Zealand uh, society, but yeah. um, it, being a part of creating uh, kind of this show as well, it's, yeah. it's a showcase, yeah. and and we should be proud of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. of course. Yeah. yeah, we are proud of you, Jim. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was coming in here to the show, and uh, I was nervous because that's the season finale. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was in talk with my wife, and I asked her that, oh, I'm nervous. And she, you know what she said? She said that you don't need to feel confident. You don't need to look sharp. You don't need to feel handsome. Just be yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I love your wife already. And then it took me one minute to let it sink. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now you realize what she's saying. Huh? Now I realize. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be handsome because the audience will look at you. <laughs> Who is this boy? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's really great to hear um, each of you, you know, um, how you are contributing and how you feel about ARCC and, you know, um, how all of us are, you know, being proud um, to be at work at ARCC because we are there um, to serve the community mostly and help, um, help them build the life that, you know, they desired yes. or they hoped for here in um, New Zealand. So thank you, everyone, for your contribution. And um, stay tuned. We'll be back after a short break. Okay. Thank you. Welcome back to our show. Um, so we just talk about, you know, how um, we contribute to our community and ARCC work. Um, now, um, I would like to give an opportunity to Aban to share um, the new strategy and structure of ARCC. So the floor is yours, Aban. <laughs> Thank you, Punch. <laughs> um, uh, I think we have touched base on uh, ARCC new structure before uh, when it comes to um, the strategy direction. But most importantly, this, uh, especially for our new season uh, um, and episode one, uh, upcoming uh, Reset TV talk, um, it's really is important to highlight the direction of ARCC. I think uh, we had been in a capacity buildings uh, through when we develop our strategic direction, the board and the staff involving, and then we find out that there is a gap within HR uh, possibility. And then we've been able to reach out to have um, a lovely um, consultant, um, uh, uh, HR person who come along and have a, a massive uh, review was in the ARCC environment. And then the recommendation from that is also allowing us together with the strategic direction where we're having a three uh, work stream. Uh, we have the first work stream is about our community well-being. And the second as well is about the advocacy for change. The third one is about the growth and development of ARCC. So within that, we've been able to ensure that to move forward, 
ARCC, there was a gap within the management uh, capacity. In order for us to do professional work, we need to fulfill those gaps. Um, as a result of that, I think we are lucky we have uh, fulfilled those obligations with the support of our uh, supporters and especially Foundation North and Tyndall Foundation and Lottery. Those are our uh, financial supporters behind the scene. Without them, I think we will not be able to, to reach to the um, fulfillment of our uh, gap within the organization capacity. So now we are ready to, um, to, to, to implement uh, what we uh, say we're going to be able to do. So the next uh, 12 um, new season episode coming, we will be able to fulfill some of the areas which is um, we identified it become a gap. Uh, for example, uh, we had uh, identified through our Bridging the Gap project that um, it's very clear to ensure that we have specific target audience in terms of the language we use with them and also in terms of the message we're going to be sharing with them. For example, uh, for our community members, how do we uh, share um, the importance of the integration process within the New Zealand society in terms of the adopting the culture, in terms of adopting work environment, in terms of adopting... Those are kind of the new things how we will be able to share with them through uh, the well-being uh, uh, work stream. And also being able to share with New Zealand public um, what it really mean actually is important that New Zealand to have better understanding in the area of disinformation and misinterpretation when it comes to the language because ARCC believe is language is, is a key of every culture. When you get the language right, this is where you fit to the society which is you think you belong to. So we have uh, a, a different and confusion environment of terminology used in the resettlement sector. So service providers, they call us refugees, they call us former refugees, they call us refugees background. And this is the service providers uh, terminology they use. Yeah. But from our community point of view, we call ourselves as a new resident, we call ourselves resettled community from force migrant background yeah, um, because you can't cut someone country of origin and then you cut it in the middle and say, oh, those are refugees background or those are former refugees or those are refugees. But before we become a refugees, we were having a country of origin, yeah, yeah. which is we believe this is where yeah. our background is. Yeah. So that needs to be communicated well in the upcoming episode in season uh, two. So we are looking forward to cover that. Yeah. And the third one as well, how do we communicate with our New Zealand politician? And one of the experiences I have in 18 years working in the sector is that the politicians sometimes are very funny. Um, <laughs> uh, they engage with the community when there is an election, election, whether local or a national election. So that's where they need your voice. So we understand the games and we understand the need and also we need to have a positive communication with them. How do we address the issue the community, our community are faced? We're not going to address issue only, but we provide the solution that how do we fit to the system of New Zealand? As we talked before, um, we're not here to change system. We are here to improve the system where we can be able to have voice there because yeah. We yeah. see ourselves are contributed to New Zealand society. So those are kind of the thing that our audience will expect from us uh, in the upcoming episode in season two. Um, the other area as well, um, to make sure as well, um, we uh, uh, follow uh, ARCC direction as well. We have a little bit of capacity buildings behind the scene where all the new staff or the staff of ARCC to be able that to really uh, to do their job properly in a professional manner. So you need to have a sort of training where you will be able to do your job properly. And also we will be able to work with the partners who add value to one another. And not, um, as we said, I think we had identified the two different services. From our point of view, how we view our services to our community, we are a supportive services because 
why we do that, we need our community to be independent. They, they need to be independent in a way that they need to contribute in New Zealand society. Some of the services we, we identified based on the feedback of our community, the people we help in the office, who fail to get help from other services when they come to the office. I think Faisal knows that very yeah. well, as if now and point now, those uh, community support uh, services we give to our members is that it's a controlling service. What does mean controlling service? You tell me and I'm going to solve your solve problem. problem. So that is not the approach ARCC is really looking for the partners. We're looking for the partners who are really genuinely, they are there to support people who they are, yeah. to support people based on their need, it's not based on their label, it's not based on where they're coming from, it's not based on their color, it's not based on their names. I think we New Zealanders, we much better than this because if we ask if we can do what it takes to support our community to have better resettlement within in New Zealand, I think other organizations can do as well. So th those are kind of um, the update I want to share with you as a team as well. Um, also, you might be able to have something I miss out because if I need to cover things, I might need uh, one hour or two hours. <laughs> 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 so now yeah. I will be able to, to give you opportunity as well if you have particular question or you have something you want to add or what I was saying, I think this will be an um, opportunity. So I hope I cover something, but um, as is ARCC stuff, you might know what I have said, but for our audience, um, I think um, you, you deserve uh, a quality information. You deserve what it takes from ARCC to be able to give you what you need. So we are here. Uh, we are geared up. And also we have uh, new things or new uh, tools has been also uh, 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 purchased to ARCC to be independent in a way of how we will be able to share our stories from our own perspective to uh, make sure we reach the, our uh, clear target audience with a clear message. And we are grateful that we have directors, we have cameramen, <laughs> we, have, <laughs> we have everything in, in the control in the house. So uh, we are grateful that um, we will be able to meet your demand and, and your need as a community. So um, thank you for being able to listen to what I've just said. And <laughs> floor is yours. <laughs> now, um, uh, along with that, you know, um, I just want to uh, once again um, thank to um, our audience, you know, and the followers who, who have been, you know, um, watching us, you know, following us on our Facebook or YouTube, Instagram, um, the TikTok, you know. So please um, stay tuned and uh, um, informed. Uh, we'll have many more exciting, you know, um, work coming up. Um, and also, <clears throat> um, in a few months, uh, we'll be um, uh, commemorating World Refugees Day. And then uh, for that, we will um, have a, a showcase of uh, um, the uh, success uh, resettlement journey of uh, some of the community members. And uh, on that day, uh, very exciting, you know, we'll have, uh, we'll launch our third um, volume of uh, New Resident Magazine. So uh, um, look forward to that as well. Uh, uh, and we have um, uh, programs um, uh, starting yeah. again, uh, the Women Leadership Network, Youth United Voice, Member Leadership Network. So keep um, engaging uh, with um, ARCC. And um, if you need any community uh, um, members need any support services, we are here um, yeah. to help. For the magazines, we need some people to come forward and... Uh, yeah, I, in that for the magazine. Yeah, I think what yeah. I what I forgot is that uh, for the community members who are because we have two uh, community support services we had in in AIS, we have people who are come to the office yeah. accessing, yeah, um, accessing the, the support. Door. So mm. you will be able to meet with Lavi, the lovely Lavi, um, <laughs> <laughs> the face of ARCC. Yeah, <laughs> the face of yeah, ARCC. I mean, uh, <laughs> If you have a problem within the community, we have a community navigator, community support person, which is Faisal Forgali. Uh, That's your man. Nice and man. Anything. It's 24-7? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, yeah but we need but to minimize it so that <laughs> they can have a life. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I close if the, the last yeah, call if, is 9 o'clock. Yes, if you yeah. are a community or organization and you are wondering about some of the tools to make sure that your community or organization to grow and all this stuff, we have a community engagement officer, Asif Ahmed. He will be able to, uh, to assist you and bring you to the right direction how we can be able to help you. And also we have um, overviewing AS is op operational as well. You will have Punch who will be able to really um, give you uh, the necessary uh, operational uh, support or advice or in the area of your community operation. And we have a media and communication uh, person. We have the cameraman. We have our YouTube person. And we have uh, also our uh, director as well can be reached uh, <laughs> through the rest of the team. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, you will be able to, to read that person as well. Um, yeah, so we're looking forward to also to increase our um, staff as well, because of the demand of the community. We are a smaller organization, but at the moment we are just trying to uh, use our voluntary uh, hours to ensure that uh, we meet the need of our community. So if you're outside there, you want to volunteer, you want to add meaningful uh, contribution to resurment space, please be in touch with ARCC, and this is where you should be able to look at as well. You are about to say that we are a small organization, but our things we've done is so big. That's true. Yeah. This, is, this, is, this is the truth. Like Mother Teresa said, that do ordinary things with extraordinary love. Yeah. <laughs> yep. You say yep. that we are small. We are, we are ordinary small. people, but, but what we are doing, doing is doing, doing, yeah. doing with end, extraordinary love yes. and passion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At the end of the day, we are just trying to bring meaningful impact to our community. community yes. you know? And that's the most important thing, I feel, as long as we help the community um, and support them. Um, I, I need to say something. Uh, anyone enjoying ARCC? Uh, I think he go to the to the boat very fast. Now, Livy, coming from different backgrounds and different things, and she joined the boat of ARCC. And you, you take her you from the start to the boat. No, no, boat. 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 She jumped I, I in thought the you promote her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all, 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 the, all the stuff. Because maybe uh, um, a band is older than me. Um, point when she comes, she jumping very fast in the board <laughs> and she's talking about the community. Because some things, ARCC, like, uh, like a sweet things coming, people let them. Because you give, you give. So they understand that now. They are in the boat, and they are. This is the the, the very hu board. deep human feeling. That is that where they, where you touch uh, about the ARCC value yes. because being humanitarian yes. organization and yeah. from the human centered approach or organization is yeah. that you provide the space to people who they are. Okay, it's not really no bias because you know when people come to our office. We don't have bias. We don't look at person background. No. And that is seen also, if you look at ARCC board, the makeup of ARCC board is all diverse. Mm -hmm. The makeup of ARCC staff is all diverse. Mm -hmm. And don't take me wrong, that diversity is come with the challenge and beauty of it. But the most important is that we managing it, we doing it as the opportunity in New Zealand for buy to us. So because New Zealand itself as a country is a very unique, and that uniqueness is we take advantage of it. This is how they set up. It did not come just randomly, but that's the opportunity of New Zealand nature. So we should be proud of this kind of the stuff. And any kind of the services, like what I said before, if you provide healthy and safe environment for everyone can access that services, always they're going to be blown. Yeah. Because nothing or no structure barriers has been designed to stop them not to come forward you see the so anyone can come to the office anyone can come in and ask questions i think we have yesterday a conversation about one of the community members who who went to all the services around and he never find anyone just 
to have a time to explain. The, the maximum okay. time, they give him 10 minutes. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. But the feedback after when he be referred to ARCC, the time we have taken to ensure that we hear what he's saying and also the advice we give him, in the end of it, he appreciate all those time he been making around all the services. And the question was, those organizations has been given funding to support those communities, yeah. but they are not getting that support. So from our point of view, what we say is that this is, we are the solution for our own problem because we are the community and we know it all. So when we provide the need of them, they will appreciate what has been given to them. Yeah. For example, he was very upset, very frustrating, and he working in the system, but he doesn't understand the small thing which we provide as our organization. So those what make us always be just doing what we do when we make people happy about what just the something they are going through. Yeah. So it's just providing a healthier and safe environment where a person can be who they are. I think that would make us all as human. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's true. I think ARCC touched that place. Yeah. Humanity place. Yeah. Humanity. Humanity place. That's what we're bringing us together. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very um, much, guys. So thank you all for um, being here today, giving your time, and also um, we all come together to um, celebrate um, the success of the end of finally... Um, of season one, one and we look forward to the new upcoming season two. two so please don't forget to follow us on facebook youtube twitter yeah. tiktok instagram yeah. <laughs> um we'll see you all again um in season two Remember, if you want to stay up to date with ARCC's latest news and videos, make sure to subscribe.